Hey everyone, it's Tiffany Sheree and today I'm going to be doing a what is in my bag video but this is going to be a chronic illness edition or the Hashimoto's or autoimmune disease version. I thought it would be interesting to do a what's in my purse with this in mind because those of you with invisible illnesses, chronic illnesses, Hashimoto's, or other autoimmune diseases might know that we tend to carry a lot more in our bag than the average person. Anytime, like lately at work especially, people keep commenting, like my whole life, they're always like, you've got a whole pharmacy in your bag, you're like your own chemist. So generally all the time I will have this big purse with me, but if I know that I'm just running off to like lunch somewhere, or I'm just going to like pick something up at the store, and I know I'm going to be back in access, like into access of my home or what's in my purse, I will just carry my little wallet around along with my phone, or I will chuck it into a smaller purse like this. This is pretty thin. Um, so I can just like shove this in my purse and it won't really affect much. Hey baby. Hi baby. I got it. Oh, and here's pink. Come here pink. Oh, ow. She stepped on me. Hey girl. Everybody, this is pink. She's so cute. Get over here and love me. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. So obviously first things first, I've got my little wallet in here. It has the super important stuff like my cards, my money, and it's got a little bell on it. I found the bell is really helpful for those of us with memory issues because if you tend to like lose things or misplace things a lot, you're shaking stuff around. The bell is a really good indicator as to where it is. Okay, next thing in my purse is my journal. This is something that I picked up recently, but I've always liked the idea of, you know, physically writing things down, whether it be, I guess, like putting it into your calendar on your phone, but I don't want to have a lot of post-it notes everywhere, so I picked up this journal and every day just pretty much write down everything on my to-do list and make sure that I don't forget anything. So this next thing is a pencil holder, but I've turned it into a little gym bag, basically so I don't have to carry a lot of stuff. Whenever Quint and I go to the gym, we get a key for a little tiny locker and this kind of squeezes in perfectly. It's got two sets of headphones, it's got my, like, it's got some cleansing wipes and it has a second inhaler. I've got two inhalers or two puffers so it's got one in there and it has a little holder for my iPhone which acts as my mp3 player so I have a charger can't have too many of those I've just found some rings that I thought I lost some keys for work work related they always stay in one pocket inside that's what's really good about having a purse like this is that it has like multiple pockets and zippers inside so you can stay organized while keeping all the things you need inside now this, this is my pharmacy. So I've got this, uh, the day is not accurate. Like I don't use this to say what medicine I need every day. What I do is I treat the compartments as like a backup because oftentimes if I am running or like rushing in the morning or running late, I can sometimes forget to take my vitamin D or if I'm out and I don't have my iron, like the whole container of iron with me, I keep some iron in here. So I've got my, I got some extra thyroxine or levothyroxine, the thyroid medication. I have some antihistamines. I've got two containers full of my vitamin D. I have two containers full of lysine, which I take like every other day. And then in here is my iron. So that way, if I'm ever out and about and I can't make it home, I've got a backup of everything that is absolutely necessary for me daily. I have my inhaler. This stuff is amazing. This is creme brulee Vaseline lip balm. I definitely suggest picking some of that up. Um, I've got a container of decongestant. I have tissues. When I was in Chile, I picked up some Nasizol, which is basically another kind of antihistamine. I've got little tiny scissors. I have some Vicks Vapor Rub or Mentholatum. I have some Hello Kitty nail clippers. I have my biotin. I have more baby allergy medicine. I have an antibiotic and some more chapstick. And wrapped up basically because I'm always, as many of you with long hair would probably understand, I'm always losing my hair ties. So I've got my hair ties kind of containing all this. Basically in this pile is tampons, um, oil removing pads, like for if I've got makeup on, uh, I've got some like vitamin C, the powder that you put in your drink if you're like feeling like you need a boost, 
I've got some band-aids. I have some female cleansing wipes. Um, I have some lens cleaner and I've got some Advil. So every month, instead of throwing away the pill containers that have my thyroid medicine in them, I will use them for something like this. So inside here, I've got the tinier medications, like I've got some Abriva cream, another teeny tiny nail clippers, and some, I believe that is some more decongestant. So I've got those just contained in here to make it easier to organize inside that bag. And I love that this has a clear top, so that way it's really easy for me to identify what I need really quickly. So then in the outside pocket of this bag, I don't really keep much except for like, if I, these are the, where I put the things that I need to have access to quickly. So like, this is my badge for work and I have some chargers in the front as well. Today, because I knew I was gonna be out all day, I brought my makeup bag. Inside is basically just pretty much everything that you saw in the Boyfriend Does My Makeup video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the cards up above or I'll put a link in the description below as well where you can see Quinn try to do my makeup. But that's pretty much everything that was in here. I don't carry this with me every day, just when I know I want to put it on but I'm gonna be like out and about. So there you go guys, that is everything that is in my bag, Hashimoto's or Chronic Illness Edition. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you keep something similar like a little pharmacy or medicine bag of your own and you also have a chronic illness. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye!